up everybody? Welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. Today we're looking at Super Mario Bros on our NES Quick Live. Now you guys are familiar with what we're doing that. We're going for each of our games in our collection. Giving you a little bit of a review on it, a little bit of history maybe, real quick within like five minutes. So until we get through our entire collection, which by the way, we're going for the entire complete US release collection and then you know anything else we can pick up in between. But yes, today's game is Super Mario Bros, the original game, one of the black box titles that came with the NES, bundled in tons of different ways with Duck Hunt, Track and Field, all sorts of different ways to bundle the game to get it to you. Now, of course, like many games from this era, it started out, we had original Mario Bros, right? That was an arcade game, it was kind of like a battle game. Totally cool, and then it got a huge upgrade to Super Mario Bros. And you know, there was an arcade version of Super Mario Bros as well, totally different. Way cool if you haven't played it, you gotta check it out. But a lot of time, arcade different uh, games are ported differently to console for various reasons, but both are excellent. I do personally enjoy the NES port of Super Mario Bros. It is probably the most complete, well-made, in a sense, it's a perfect game in a lot of ways, and we've talked about that before, so you know, I'm not going to bore you to death with those details, but just the level of control and just the way everything kind of just goes together, it is it is perfect. It's the perfect game. It's, it's just mind-blowing. Um, so, you know, not a lot can be said. Uh, Super Mario, obviously Mario is the flagship, the franchise of, of Nintendo. He's the face that saved gaming in so many ways. Um, and it's, like I said, there's just so many different ways to play it. It launched gaming into an entire different stratosphere. You know, to this day, people are still playing the original games, they're playing the new games coming out on Switch, Mario Odyssey, whatever. You know, DS we have for all tons of different iterations, variations of Mario. He's, you know, he's been a platformer, he's been an RPG guy, he's done sports, racing, you name it. Mario's done it all. But right here, this is where it started, the original Super Mario Brothers. What a game. Now, it's easy to look at this game and say, okay, it's, you know, it's basic game, it's no graphics, there's, you know, repetitive music, blah, 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 all this stuff. Uh, but <laughs> when this game came out, it was hard. Like, I had one of the first games I played uh, was Super Mario Brothers, and it was hard. I couldn't beat it as a kid. Uh, you get to that spot in 8, uh, was it 8 2? In 8, maybe 8 1 and 8 2, there's just those jumps where you have to use turbo. Hell, I didn't even know there was a turbo. But you gotta, you know, make those long jumps that you can't make. You have to get your brother or somebody to do that part for you, and then you still, you get to the last level, it's a maze, you gotta kill Bowser. You know, a couple hits and you're dead, there's like one power up in the whole level, like, come on. That is hard, okay? And by today's games, that's still probably pretty hard. If you're new to gaming and you've never really played, especially old school games, you've never played them, and you're gonna go play that, you're gonna tell me you're gonna play that fresh, fresh out, you know, blind playthrough, you tell me you're gonna start and beat Mario Brothers, no problem, I, I would like to see that. <laughs> Okay, so to this day, it is still a game that's giving gamers fits just from all walks of everything, you know what I mean? So, what a cool game, what a classic game, and I mean, if, if you were to say, hey, uh, we're, if somebody came to you and said, hey man, I, I love gaming, I've, I've only really played new games, I want to start somewhere in old games, what better place to have them start than the original Super Mario Bros. I mean, come on, it's it's the perfect game, as I've talked about, and it's just a great entry point into gaming in general. Not just old school gaming, retro gaming. It's a perfect entry point into just gaming as it was back in the 1980s. Oh my gosh, so good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could go on and on and on about Mario all day long. I don't have a problem with it. Um, in fact, if you guys want to check it out, uh, Easy and I, I know there's different challenges and stuff, people doing world records for Mario and whatnot, but Easy and I, back in, oh, I don't know, in our college days, we, uh, <laughs> wink, uh, we'll, we'll call it the, we'll, we'll call it what it is, but anyway, we came up with a, a fun way to play the game. We called it the Small Man Low Coin Low Score Challenge. So your idea, you gotta get through the game small, get as few coins and as few points as possible, right, and then beat the game as fast as you can. So, um, basically, I, you know, I completed that run finally, um, done it a few times, it's actually really difficult, uh, but I have a run if you want to go check it out, it's about five and a half minutes or so, from start to finish, no death run, small Mario, low coin, low school challenge like I talked about. We did it a few years back, I didn't do commentary, so it's something you definitely want to revisit uh, one of these days, but <laughs> like I said, it's hard. I don't really feel like putting myself through that anytime soon, so I don't even know if I can still do that, you know, the older you get, so, uh, anyway guys, I hope you've been enjoying this, you've been hanging out with Brothers Forge Gaming, this is Nesquik, make sure to come back, check it back, check out our entire playlist, we've got like 30-something of these things, and you know, we're just going to be bringing more, more to you as we can, so yeah, hope you enjoyed, see you next time.